Ni wiki kadhaa ambapo taifa limeshuhudia mkengeuko wa siasa nchini licha ya kuwa taifa linaendelea kupambana na virusi vya corona. Baada ya seneta Kipchumba Morkome na seneta Susan Kihika kuondolewa kwenye nafasi za uongozi kwenye seneti, sasa duru zinaarifu kuwa huo ulikuwa ni mwanzo tu na kuna mengi yatakayofuata. Duru zimearifu K24 moja kuwa msoda uko tayari kumngatua naibu speaker Kidhure Kindiki kutoka kwenye nafasi yake na unatarajiwa kufikishwa kwenye afisi ya speaker wa bunge la seneti hapo kesho. Ripoti zinaarifu kuwa seneta kadhaa kwenye uongozi wa seneti ndio wanaandaa msaada huu katika kile kinachosemekana ni rais Uhuru Kenyatta kuhakikisha kuwa wanajubilii kwenye seneti wamefuata nyayo kama inavyofaa hili limeibua ni penikupe that is a fallacy na and I'm saying it's a fallacy because I am one of the active members of parliament and I can tell you there is no single even one government bill that we have ever opposed this is just uh, dictating these things today tomorrow that way we will suck this we will, not, we will replace this we will substitute and uh, let me tell you uh, it's okay because it is fitting for them for now but it's, it's uh, it is a time bomb kulingana na baadhi ya viongozi haswa wanaoegemea upande wa naibu rais william ruto kuna njama tu ya kuhangaisha naibu rais na kujaribu kukwamiza ndoto yake ya kuwa ni ya urais element of democracy we must respect that because democracy is not a, 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 a monster by itself it is change of tone and change of action and it's under the change of doing things that we can be able to uh, say that democracy's steps have been taken care of and we are in the right path coalition building for the sake of cohesiveness as a country is never done on the basis of the data and on the basis of teaching this person a lesson and, and, and on the basis of checkmating this person or the other one it is done to bring kenyans together mbunge wa embakasi kaskazini james kakuya mwandani wa naibu rais na mwenzake wa kiharu dindi nyoro wamesema kuwa kuna haja ya kuwa na msingi unaoongoza chama huku akisema kuwa taabu za jubilii ni mwamkuano wa rais na kinara wa ODM Raila Odinga decision making of the party is not just few individuals decision making of a party is collective and therefore until when there will be a collective uh, uh, agreement within the party on how to move forward that crack is there and it will derail everything because people will just move to court Raila Odinga maisha yake yote ya kisiasa ni maisha ya kubomoa. Na vile aliingia katika jubilee na hardship. Mimi nilikuwa moja wa kusema ya kwamba kwanza huyu mtu akikutembelea nyumbani namna kama ya Raila. Huyu sio mtu wa kuja hara, umeharakisha kupeleka bedroom. Pare kwa veranda mpatie chakula hapo. Pare kwa veranda mpatie chai hapo. Kwa sababu amejionyesha kwa historia yake yeye akiingia katika chama chama lazima isabaratike viongozi hawa wameonya kuwa wakenya wanatazama na watataka majibu ya ni yapi rais alitekeleza awamu yake the performance of his excellency uhuru kenyatta will not be based on who was in which position in senate will not be based on who was the deputy president will not be based on who was minister for anything it is query the responsibility of the person who has been given the powers to do so hata hivyo wasema hawatatishika hata kidogo that pg it is long overdue and we are saying the soonest it can be called the better to find a ways of sealing the cracks but if the intention is just to kill the party then you will not find the pg in, in, in where soon mambo yanaonekana kuzidi unga mwisho utakuwa upi daniel karioki k24 saa moja